Imagine this, you're female, but you have male DNA. Now, this is a condition that actually affects thousands of women. Genetically, they are men, but because of what's called androgen insensitivity syndrome, they develop as women. ABC's Juju Chang met one sufferer who spent her life struggling with this rare condition. If my mother didn't think I should know, and my father didn't think I should know, and the doctors didn't think I should know, I shouldn't let anybody else know. It's that shameful. It's that awful. Musician Eden Atwood was always the picture of health, blossoming from an adorable young girl into a striking beauty, becoming a model, an actress, yeah. and an accomplished jazz singer. But from the time she was a teenager, Eden sensed that something was wrong. I was the last one not to have had her period, and I didn't like it one bit. After several tests, doctors told Eden her ovaries were twisted, cancer prone. They'd have to be removed. I was devastated, totally devastated. Little did she know that was a lie, and infertility was the simplest part of the secret clouding her life. Eden was just 15 when her stepmother blurted out something she wasn't supposed to something almost unbelievable. She told me, you know they lied to you. You're really half man, half woman. That's gotta be painful to say the very least. Made sense. Something's weird. No one's telling the truth. This fits. I'm a freak. Eden Atwood is not a freak, nor is she half man, half woman. But her DNA says she's a man because she has male chromosomes, an X and a Y, instead of two X's like most females. It's a genetic condition called androgen insensitivity syndrome, or AIS, which can be passed down through the mother or occur as a spontaneous mutation. Dr. Charmian Quigley, a pediatric endocrinologist, says despite the male chromosomes, women with AIS are just that, women. They have a vagina like anybody else's, but it's basically just a pouch. It's not connected to a uterus. There is no uterus. What they have internally is testes that you would typically expect to find in a male. Eden's twisted ovaries, really internal testicles. I got told a pack of lies that set me down a course of total self-rejection and fear and secrecy. <laughs> it's taken more than 20 years, but Eden is finally more comfortable talking about her long-kept secret. I said, that's interesting. What's for dinner? <laughs> What's for dinner? <laughs> Bruce Anderson eventually married Eden, but her struggle with her self-image because of AIS made intimacy difficult, and the marriage ended in divorce. But they have remained close. In fact, Bruce is still often found in the kitchen, making meals with Ben, the four-year-old son they adopted together as an infant. Did you always think you wanted to have a child? Oh, God, yes. Yes, always wanted a child. If chromosomes don't determine gender, what does? How you feel. I check the box every time it comes up, male or female. Female. But only because the box is there. You will be happy too. As you can see, Eden is finally at peace with her AIS. The really good news is that doctors and families have learned from the mistakes that were made with women like Eden. So for a new generation of girls that I spoke with, many have grown up without all the secrecy and the shame. And guess what, Chris? They feel absolutely comfortable talking about their condition. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to abcnews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.